Hey there, this is Dr. Isaac coming at you from the Pain-Free Maverick. As always, bringing you Maverick solutions to help you eliminate your pain yourself at home. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some different types of mobility drills that you can do at home to help you sleep better at night if shoulder pain is limiting your ability to sleep due to bad posturing at night. Now I'm gonna talk about how to sleep properly and I'm also gonna talk about what to do when you wake up with shoulder pain and how to improve the mobility in your shoulder so you can sleep better. Now, let's talk a little bit about why you're having shoulder pain at night. The majority of the time when shoulder pain wakes you up at night, it could be a multitude of things. And I don't wanna get into all the medical jargon, but one of the things that is most common is that the shoulder joint, it's like a, 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 a socket and a ball like that. Just think of it that way. When you're sleeping at night, most of you guys may be sleeping on the same side of your shoulder pain and what you're doing is you're compressing the shoulder and putting pressure through the ball and socket so you're laying on the painful side and that is creating a compression or pinching. Now what happens is the ball and socket start to kind of roll on each other and roll forward and that can cause a tremendous amount of pinching inside of the nerves that give power to the muscles of the shoulder. Those nerve wires, you can see them, they're all over our body. Right here, these yellow wires. You can see that yellow wire that come out of our spinal cord. This is the rib cage, right? And they can send electrical signals to the muscles, but they also send electrical signals inside the joint. Now, if the joint is misaligned because of your positioning in one position all day, by the way, you sit at your computer or your job, or you lay on your shoulder in the wrong way and you twist it in that direction, it's gonna create a pinching sensation in the shoulder. And you're probably gonna wake up with a stiffness and it's gonna feel like you have to literally take your hand and kind of help your other, your, your, your good shoulder, well, your good shoulder and hand will help your bad shoulder come up. It's gonna feel like you have to kind of grease it before it moves. You're also gonna feel like if, it's, if you slept on your arm wrong and you're, you slept on your arm like this on your belly, which is a no-no, um, it's gonna feel like you wake up in the morning and you're gonna have to grab your arm and kind of bring it down really slowly or it's gonna hurt a lot. You might feel a pain deep inside, like a local pain right here where the bicep or the muscle over here, this tendon attaches and that is gonna feel like a pinching and it's gonna feel throbbing and aching up to about here, maybe up to the elbow but not passing the elbow. You know that's shoulder pain and not neck pain. Now if it was neck pain, you would uh, might have tingling and numbing in the finger. You may feel sim symptoms or the same kind of achiness shooting down the arm if it was a neck problem. So most likely it's not a neck problem, I'm assuming. And so the treatment, the first thing to do is stop. Well, this is the number one thing I want you to do is the posturing of how you go to bed. If you're going to bed and laying on your side, like, you know, talking on your phone or texting like that, and your elbow is putting pressure down on the bed, you're basically taking the ball and socket and jamming up the ball and socket together and putting pressure through that, and that is what's pinching there. You have to stop that. You have to stop laying on the, on the elbow like that and jamming up. You can just imagine the ball and socket are being pinched. You're pinching all those nerve endings and all the bursa and other uh, fluid-filled sacs in the shoulder and creating more inflammation. Gotta stop that. The first thing I would want you to do. The second thing is, when you're sleeping at night, try to shove a pillow underneath your arm in your armpit, one or two pillows, so that your arm looks like it's like that. You may end up rolling onto the shoulder anyway, but at least start out that way so that you start to kind of coach yourself and um, you'll get into a habit of staying uh, more away from rolling onto the shoulder, it'll stop. Another way you could do it is hug a pillow, put a pillow right underneath your armpit, you know, kind of like a, a big, big, thick pillow, um, like from the couch, um, and uh, put it right underneath your armpit and kind of hug it if you end up rolling on that side, it'll put some pre it'll take some of the pressure off your shoulder. Those are the kind of sleeping postures. But if you do wake up in severe pain, here's a little trick you can do before you go to bed at night. Um, go ahead and buy one of these mobility bands on my channel. You see me talk about this a ton. The mobility bands are basically just these thick, um, yeah, they're like a thick band that you can do exercise with, but mostly what they do is they stretch the nerve endings. Now you're having neurostructural pain. Neurostructural pain means nerve, 
a pinching against the structure in the joint and the joint is a little bit misaligned and it's jamming the joint up. It's like, think of a stuck draw that doesn't want to open up. So what we do is you're going to remove your shirt and roll and take this thing, this band, this mobility band, and you're going to basically unwind it and wrap it up like this. I'm going to show you. All right. So you kind of un unwrap it and you see how it kind of sticks to itself. Now, again, you could do this over this over the clothing, but I would highly recommend that you consider, and you put a little pressure, consider putting it directly on skin because it's gonna stretch out the nerve endings underneath the skin, okay? It's got like a fly paper kind of texture to it. It's very sticky. So it kind of like snags on the skin and the skin nerve endings will loosen up. So what I'm doing is you can see, just wrapping it around. I wouldn't make it too tight, maybe 25% tension because you don't wanna occlude the blood or stop the blood from flowing in there. If you feel tingling in your hands, loosen it up a little bit, all right? But it's good because it's forcing the blood back into the joint, okay? I'm just gonna do this part way. And you see how high I go. There we go. So once I got it there, so you can do these exercises yourself. You have it here. And before you go to bed, just kind of pull on this part over here and just kind of mobilize your shoulder in this direction outward. See that? As I pull on this, the, long, the harder I pull on this, the more stretch I'm getting on the nerve endings in here. And what it's gonna do is, I'm gonna mobilize the nerves that live underneath the shoulder and kind of free it up. That will help ease some of the pain at night and will give you immediate mobility or freedom of movement because you're not really stretching uh, muscles or massaging muscles when there's pain. Nerves cause pain in over 92% of people. It's been shown in all the research. So nerve endings are what causes pain and they're trapped between the bone and the muscle. You have the bones over here of the spine and you have the muscles over here and then you have the nerve endings over here. Now, the nerve endings get trapped between the, mus the muscles. So it's the muscular nerves get inside of there and they get trapped between the bones and they can get snagged and then inflammation builds up around there and that is neurostructural pain that you get. So when you do my neurocorrective stretching um, and neurocorrective training exercises, you will feel a ton better. Now that's just a little bit of improvement. That's not the whole thing, but if you click below, if you like this video, it helps you. Give me some comments and maybe click the subscribe button below and the bell so that when I put out another video, uh, you'll know. Okay, thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video.